In this video, we're going to look at how we differentiate from first principles. Um, this is a little topic that students at standard level often find a little bit difficult, and it is on the syllabus, although often not many questions come about it. So what I've got is I've got a curve here, which is y equals x squared, and I want to know the gradient of the curve at a certain point. Now, I've put a point at 2, 4, and I've drawn a tangent alongside it. Now, prior to the IB, you probably only could find gradients by drawing a tangent. That's a line that just touches the curve. And the tangent is a straight line, so its equation is y equals an mx plus c. So here, the m, this is the gradient. This 4 number here is the gradient. So when our point is at 2, the gradient's 4. But I have a problem, because if I take the point and I move the point, Watch the gradient here, the line changes. So if I change my point and put it down here at 1, the gradient's now 2. And if I bring it all the way down to the bottom, there's no gradient at all. And in fact, if I go to this side, I've got a negative gradient. So it's changing all the time. Let me put it back at 2. And let me think about another way in which I can work out what the gradient is where it's 2. In fact, what the gradient functions, because I'm going to find a function so that I can work out the gradient at any point on the curve. It's important that I'm going to work out a function at any point. So I've got another graph, and this is this is y equals x squared, but I've honed in, I've magnified in on the point 2, 4, and I've drawn a straight line, but it's not a tangent to the point 3, 9. Now, let's think about how I would get my gradient. Remember this? Rise over run. So for this one, thinking about it at 3, 9, my rise is the y number 9 take away the 4. So for this one, it's 9 take away 4, divided by, and I need to do the, this one here, which is 3, take away 2. So I can do it with numbers, like that, and it will get the gradient of the line. But what, it gives, actually it's giving me a good approximation, by the way, this is going to be 5 over 1, so the gradient looks like it's 5. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this, the point here, uh, and change it and come closer and closer to 2, 4. Now, what's happening is, as we get closer and closer, the run is getting less than 1, so it becomes 2.8 take away 2, and the rise becomes this number here, which is that, take away 4. And the idea is as I move closer and closer and closer down towards there, I've got the exact gradient. Now, to do that, let me just move this back up here. This is the very important part. I have to think about, instead of making this 1 or 0 0.5, I'm going to make this h. So I'm going to add h on to x. So instead of being 3, 2, it's going to be 2 plus h. And this is what happens. My, my y number is the x number plus h, but I square it. That's how I get the new y number. So if I made h1, like the case we've got on screen now, it would be 2 plus 1, 3 squared, give me 9. I always have to take away the old x number, which is x squared, and that was the old y number, 2 squared, 4. Now, and now the run will be this number here, which is x plus h, and then I take away the old number, plus h, take away x. And that's my starting point, adding on a little bit to the x number. I'm going to jump into somewhere where I can do all the algebra, because I don't actually need this curve. So if I jump into my program here, 
and let's just write that out. Remember what I'm doing? I'm taking a second point, which is x plus h, and this is the second y number, and I'm squaring it, and I'm taking away the first y number, which is x squared, and I'm dividing it all by x squared, sorry, I beg your pardon, x plus h, let's get rid of that, x plus h, and then I take away x, so y2, y1, x2, x1. Now it's all just simple algebra from here. I'm going to expand this bracket so I get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, take away x squared. And on the bottom, if we think about simplifying that bottom, x plus h minus x, it's just going to have h. Now, if we look at the top, as things that just sort of cross out on the top. The x squared, that's gone, because I've got a minus x squared here. And this is an h, and this is an h squared, and there's an h on the bottom. So when I simplify all of that, I can get rid of the h's here, and it becomes 2x plus h over 1, or 2x plus h. Okay, this is basically my gradient function. This is m, my gradient. 2x plus h. One final thing. Let's go back here and let's think about what I'm doing with this point. I'm making this point closer and closer to the other one. Down, 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 until it's minuscule, until we can't really see it. In actual fact, what I'm doing is making it so close that it ends up being zero. So coming back in here, h is going towards zero. So I can just discount it. So m is 2x. So when I do all the algebra here, m is 2x. Now that means I can find my gradient at any point. Okay, if we go back into the first one, remember my gradient is m for the gradient equals 2x. So when I'm at 2, I put 2 in here. 2 times 2 gives me 4 for the gradient. Let's move this to 1. Now I'm at 1, 2 times 1 gives me the gradient 2. Now I'm at 0. There's no gradient. Two zeros, no gradient. What about at minus 1? Minus 2, because it's 2 times minus 1. So that's how I arrive at that, just using the algebra. Now let's jump back in and do one more. Just with the algebra, without looking at the diagrams at all, I've got something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, remember I do rise over run, which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So I'm thinking that my second y number, my, my first x number, is x. And y1, well I get work that out by doing x squared plus 2x. x2, I simply add on a small number called h. And y2, well that's the more complicated one because I look at this and I say it's x plus h all squared plus two lots of x plus h. Okay, so I'm going to put all this into this equation here and see where we end up. So this is how I'm going to work out the gradient. Uh, whew. This number, take away this number. Now to save a bit of time, I'm going to expand that, y2, and take away y1. So when I expand this, I get x squared plus 
x h plus h squared, so that's the expansion of that, plus 2x plus 2h, that's y2, that's the long one, take away y1, which is x squared plus 2x, and on the bottom, well, the bottom one's quite easy, bottom one is x plus h minus x, that one, take away that one. Now, don't be frightened, it all starts cancelling off. I've got an x squared here, and I've got a minus x squared here. I've got a... T made a little mistake here. Uh, this was actually a minus 2x here, because it was minus x1. So, and I know I've got a mistake, because this should cancel off. This cancels off with this. And this cancels off with this. So now I am left with something a lot simpler. I am left with 2xh plus h squared plus 2h all over h. Well, we've got the same thing happening here. The h's can cancel. One of those h's can cancel out there, and the h cancels out there. So I've now got something that looks quite good which is 2x, there's an h there, remember. Now remember what happens to h. h is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, so h goes towards 0, and m becomes 2x plus 2. I suggest that you watch this video a couple of times until you firm that idea up in your head totally.